Barefooted Foundation. Uh, I just remember we were talking, uh, I was talking with Jessica Cox a couple days ago, and boy, that was more than 10 years ago when we came into Oshkosh the first time in that air coop. And I first got to meet Jessica and impressed with her accomplishments at the time, and I've become even more impressed through the years of what she's doing here with her foundation and so forth. And she's got an exciting project that she's working on right now, so I'd like to bring Jessica up, talk about it, and uh, get started on this. Jessica, the microphone's yours. Thank you, Dick, and thank you for organizing this so last minute. I'm really um, so appreciative of your team for making this possible. And for all of you, thank you for being here this morning. I know it's Friday, everyone's starting to unwind for the weekend, but I appreciate you being here to be a part of this really phenomenal announcement that not just myself, but Patrick, my husband, the newest pilot here, is going to come up here and join me and put up on the screen. He has he had just about 70 hours before we took off in Tucson, now almost a month ago, because the Earth Coop, as you know, cruises about 90 miles per hour. And we had a wonderful pilot, Lindsay Lakaitis, over here from WAI, Arizona Chapter, Secretary of Phoenix Chapter. She made it possible. And we took that Earth Coop, and it took us two weeks to the day to land in the state of Wisconsin. So that is an example of how long it took. And on the way, we stopped at a wonderful camp called Camp Nobility that had about 200 children who are born or who have lost limbs. And they come to the sports camp to um, do all sorts of sports for the whole week. And we landed for the first time right next to Pickneyville, DuPoint Airport. And they all came out and they were thrilled, they were excited, and they were moved. And I'm sure it was an unforgettable moment for them to realize, well, if she can fly this plane, then there isn't anything that we can't do. And that's what we're all about at Right Footed Foundation International, really challenging what's possible for others to believe that they can achieve the impossible. The airplane reads, believe you can fly, because it starts with that. And um, we are thrilled and excited to announce the next chapter, the next project, and something that is giving me goosebumps right now as I stand here in front of all of you this Friday morning, and that is that we are going to design a custom retrofitted RV-10 to be flown with feet. And we have a special guest here. I asked uh, Greg if he could come up here and say a few words about this exciting adventure. Um, you can also open up your daily newspaper. It's on the second page, I believe. So if you want to see that picture, it's in there. And Greg, please come on up and tell us. Uh, I really appreciate your team being excited about something that many people may think is impossible. So thank you, Greg. Thank you. I'm Greg Hughes from Vans Aircraft. We're truly excited to be part of this new journey. Uh, Vans Aircraft has a history of helping others uh, in doing some uh, what's often called alternative controls for aircraft. We've done that in a couple of ours experimentally in the past. Uh, we're really, really excited. Uh, I, I love the story you tell about on your way here and the kids and maybe creating new dreams. Uh, our company is in the business of making dreams come true. And we're, we've, I've loved, we've all loved following uh, the story up to date and we're really super excited and feel very privileged to be part of the next chapter. So thanks for, thanks for working with us and we're super excited. Thank you, Greg. I know, um, I know Greg has a lot to do, so Greg, thank you so much for taking the time this morning to join us and um, be here for this announcement. And I know if you have to get back to the booth, I understand. <laughs> so, I'll give it a hang out. So I wanted to mention something that I almost forgot, which is why are we building this? And we know what the mission is. The mission is to inspire more children, not only here in the United States, but around the world. But why are we doing this and why do we need to do this if there's a beautiful Urkut that traveled 2,000 miles to get here? And it's sitting right outside of the P2 taxiway, right in front of Boeing Plaza, you'll see it. It's a checkered yellow Urkut called the Jesse Cab because it looks like a taxi cab. Well, I fly that locally and up to about maximum an hour and a half because I am in a crunched position flying the Urkut with my right foot on the yoke, left foot on the throttle. And if you've ever done a crunch at the gym, or in PE, it is pretty tough. And it's very draining to be in that position for so long. 
I get a Charlie horse, my foot falls asleep, and oftentimes I get cramps in my legs. So we need to do something that will not only get us to places faster so we can inspire more children with disabilities in a shorter amount of time than a month to get an ERCOOP all the way to Wisconsin and back, but we need something that's faster so that we can reach more children so that we can uh, get this to places um, and, and with more efficiency and most importantly, with me behind the controls. So here's some great pictures that Patrick has prepared. It says no signal, but there it is. Uh, the first time sitting in the RV tent and then Greg took us up on this wonderful flight and showed us what the RV tent can do, what it feels like and the ease of control, which is obviously why we are so excited about the possibilities. Um, and what we are developing is something that will allow me to be in a more resting position. Uh, here's a quick video. And um, so that you all know, the whole idea is to make flying more uh, practical for me so I can do these long distance flights. It took a crew of two to get the Urku here. And I was not part of that because I fly locally because of the limitations that the Urku has on my, uh, the way I have to basically have my legs on the controls. So with this future design, it will allow me to be in a resting position with my legs on the floor of the airplane and it will allow me to be able to do longer distances, will able to inspire more children, and most importantly, we'll be able to get that message out there that uh, believe you can fly to all the children, the next generation of pilots, and to all those with disabilities who have been told countlessly that they, can, they can't. 